Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and today I'm bringing you the first video of a new series, Cube Root. In this video, we will be talking about the minx. We'll dig into the roots and origins of minxes from the pure minx all the way up to the yada minx and more. This series will be quite interesting to watch, in my opinion, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the first episode of Cube Root. It all started in 1980 when UM Effort began using the term pure minx for all sorts of puzzles. The reason behind this was because he was interested in the Egyptian pyramids and the Sphinx. Together, he got Pira Minx, and once these puzzles became mass-produced, the Pira Minx part was dropped from the name with an exception to what we know today as the Pira Minx and the Pira Minx Crystal. The Minx part stuck onto quite a lot of puzzles and has since branched out to all sorts of crazy puzzles which we will talk about in a few minutes. Back to the Pira Minx, it was invented and patented by UM Effort and introduced by Tommy Toys in 1981. Since 1981, companies such as Mozi, QJ, Shengxiao, and Moyu have all come out with their own mass-produced pyraminx. The newest and best as of this video, in my opinion, is the Moyu pyraminx. The current world record single and average are respectively 1.36 by Oscar Roth Anderson and 2.56 by Drew Brads. Take away the tips and you get a tetraminx. Add another layer to the standard pyraminx and you get the master pyraminx, which is the four-layered pyraminx. The first mass-produced Master Pyraminx was inspired by Adam Cohen, invented by Timur Evbatrov, and produced by Mefferts. Add another layer onto this, and you get the Professor Pyraminx that was also invented by Timur and produced by Mefferts. The first well-turning prototype was made in July of 2010. Next along the Pyraminx series is the six-layered Royal Pyraminx, created in May 2011, again invented by Timur, but produced by Shapeways this time rather than Mefferts. The last of the series is the Emperor Pyraminx, invented by once again the one and only Timur, and produced by Shapeways. This piece of a puzzle was built in August of 2011. Aside from the series, there are a few puzzles that might mistakenly be thought of as a pyraminx. The master morphix, shown here, is often thought to be some type of pyraminx, but it's simply a 3x3 shape mod. Along with the master morphix is the Jing's pyraminx, shown here, which is simply a skewed shape mod. We have the geared tetrahedrons. This includes the geared pyraminx, which came out in 2011 and later mass produced in January of 2012 by Mefferts, and the master gear pyraminx, not to be confused with a gear master pyraminx, which has not been done yet. That was produced by Shapeways. Before we end all of this tetrahedron talk, there are all sorts of shape mods that have been done to a pyraminx and tetraminx. These include the draken, a pyraminx that has been truncated at all four corners, the cubominx, a tetraminx modified into a cube, the half hex, a truncated tetraminx. The Junior Prism, a Pyraminx transformed into a concave triangular prism. The Fused Pyraminx, a Pyraminx with some parts glued on to give off the illusion that it is a Fused Pyraminx. The Lighthouse Cube, a Pyraminx truncated into the shape of what could have been a pyramid with a hexagonal base. The Picubro, a Pyraminx with extensions to give it a true cubic shape. The Pyrofusion, another truncated Pyraminx. Bandaged Pyraminx, kind of self-explanatory. Elementalix also known as the Micro Pyraminx, the smallest pyraminx in the world at only 15 millimeters, the Bump Pyraminx, the concept of the Bump Cube, otherwise known as the Mirror Blocks, applied to a pyraminx. There are a ton of other mods that have been done to the pyraminx, but I think that about wraps it up for the Tetrahedrons. Now let's move on to some Dodecahedron minxes. I am aware that there are a countless amount of puzzles that are Dodecahedrons, however I'll be covering the minxes of this category. After the pyraminx part was taken from the names of some puzzles, the minx stayed with some, one of which was the Megaminx. The Megaminx, also known by the name Hungarian Supernova, invented by Dr. Kristoff Bandelow, was invented by several people independently and produced by several different manufacturers with slightly different designs. Companies such as QJ, MFA, Shengxiao, and Dian have also mass-produced a Megaminx of their own. Dian, in my opinion, is the most unique as you can get this with added ridges which helps with the gripping of the puzzle. The Megaminx is the dodecahedron equivalent to the 3x3x3 and the current world record single and average are respectively 37.83 and 42.98 by Yu Dahun. Unlike a regular 3x3 cube, adding another layer on is not very easy when it comes to a Megaminx. For this reason, Tyler Fox added two layers and called it a Gigaminx, which is the equivalent to the 5x5. The first prototype was made in 2006 and was large and a bit unstable. Tyler fixed this issue in his second version by using a V-cube-like design, making it smaller and more stable. Andrew Cormier then completed the V1.5, which was an even smaller design, and was completed in 2008. The Gigaminx became mass-produced in 2009 by Cube4U and eventually by MF8. Next we have the Terraminx, which is the equivalent to the 7x7. The Terraminx was first created by Andrew Cormier and mass-produced by Cube4U in 2009, again later being mass-produced by MF8. In 2009, Jason Smith constructed and sold the first Petaminx designed by Andrew Cormier, which is the equivalent to a 9x9. 
In 2011, Matt Bonner created the first Eximinx prototype, which is the equivalent to the 11x11. You can go ahead and click on the video on the top right to get to that video if you want to check that out. This prototype worked, but it sadly broke. In 2012, the Petaminx became mass-produced by MFA. Next in the series would be a Zetaminx, but that has not been done yet. Lastly, we have the Yotaminx, which was recently created by Matt Bonner. This is the equivalent to a 15x15, 15 15, which has yet to be done by the time of this video. If you have not seen the video of this prototype, you need to check it out for yourself. You can go ahead and click on the link on the top right to see the video. So you may have noticed that I have left out a few, but I wanted to first cover all of the minxes that were equivalent to an odd layered cube since those are a bit easier to make. The 2x2 equivalent in the series is the Kilo Minx. The Impossible Ball is technically the first Kilo Minx and was made in the early 80s, but it's not what we think of when we think of a Kilo Minx. Most people think of what's also known as a Flower Minx, which was created by Alexander Ordnitz in 1984. Next up is the Master Kilo Minx, created by David Google in 2010 later being mass-produced by MFA in 2011. This being the 4x4 equivalent, next up was the 6x6 equivalent, the Elite Kilominx. Gregoire Fenning was the creator of the Elite Kilominx in 2011. That's it for the roots of all the main dodecahedron minxes. If you found all of that informative stuff to be a bit boring, stay with me. This next part was by far the most fun I had making this video. The Megaminx, Gigaminx, etc. have all been modified to all sorts of incredible puzzles. I'll start from the top and make my way down to the Megaminx mods. Up first is the triple fused Petaminx, a puzzle that was originally a joke but looks incredible. The void Petaminx, a Petaminx with no centers. The open Petaminx, a bandaged Petaminx with a large part removed. And the Petaminx ball, a spherical Petaminx. Spherical! Then up next are the mods done to the Terraminx. We have the Super Terraminx, which is simply a sticker mod. The triple layer Icosahedron, which is a Terraminx in the shape of an Icosahedron. The Terra Rinx, which is another sticker mod. The Terra Icosadodecahedron, a Terraminx truncated into the shape of an Icosadodecahedron. Radu's Octopus, which was the first Terraminx mod, and it looks very intimidating. I'm sure if you threw this at somebody, you could severely injure them and possibly kill them, so please don't do that because that is illegal. Lastly, there is the Terra Hexaminx, which is the Terraminx turned into a cube. I actually got to meet the creator of the Terra Hexaminx, Ben, at Worlds 2013. I believe his channel is Ben Puzzles, so make sure you go check him out. Up next, we have the Gigaminx mods. These include the dual layer icosahedron, a gigaminx in the shape of an icosahedron, giga hexaminx ball, a giga hexaminx that is now spherical, spherical. gigamate, two gigaminxes fused together, giga hexaminx, a gigaminx turned into a cube, giga a gigaminx in the shape of a tetrahedron, the gt minx, a gigaminx in the shape of a rhombic tricontahedron, the void gigaminx, a gigaminx with no centers, the super gigaminx, a sticker mod, the Ultimate Gigaminx, another sticker mod, and lastly, the Open Gigaminx, a bandaged Gigaminx with a large part removed. Next is the biggest and the most fascinating category of Minx mods, Megaminx mods. Some mass-produced Megaminx mods are the Megaminx Balls and the Hexaminx, which happens to be one of my favorite puzzles. The Hexaminx was originally made by Tony Fisher, later made into a pillowed version by Trifum, which got mass-produced by HK Now Store in 2013. There are other Hexaminx mods, such as the Half Hexaminx, Hexaminx Crystal, Master Kilo Hexaminx, Siamese Hexaminx, Void Hexaminx, and the ones mentioned in the Terra and Gigaminx mods. For the mods that have yet to be mass produced, we have the Column Megaminx, a Megaminx in the shape of a cylinder, the Bermuda Megaminx, the concept of the Bermuda Cubes applied to a Megaminx, which is a planetary series. Then there is the Crazy Megaminx Planetary Series, which is based off of the Crazy 3x3s. Then, just like the Fluffy Cube, there is the Bubble Minx. The Void Megaminx, a Megaminx with no centers, the Constrained Megaminx, the concept of the Constrained Cube applied to a Megaminx, the Bandaged Megaminx, a Megaminx that has been bandaged, the Biconix, a Megaminx in the shape of a Bicone, the Edges Only Megaminx, which is pretty self-explanatory, the Microminx, a very small Megaminx with an edge length of only 7mm, the Axis Minx, a Megaminx that's been twisted in its original shape, the Pyrinx, a Megaminx in the shape of a Tetrahedron, Treasure Minx, the concept of Oscar's treasure chest applied to a Megaminx, the Gear Megaminx, a Megaminx with gears, and the Copter Minx, a hybrid of a Megaminx and a helicopter dodecahedron. Some other mods that didn't fit into those categories are the Tup Minx, an extension of the Megaminx to a truncated icosahedron, the Star Minx 1, a face turning dodecahedron, the Star Minx 2, the first edge turning dodecahedron, and the Star Minx 3, the deeper cut corner turning dodecahedron. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the roots of the Minxes along with some very impressive mods. 
Please let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the first episode of Cube Root and also what you want to see next. So this first episode was a bit long and the rest of the episodes will definitely not be as long as this first one. So make sure you guys look forward to more Cube Root episodes. Before I end this, I wanted to give a shout out to my kindergarten buddy. Back when I was in 6th grade, I had a kindergarten buddy and now he's in 7th grade and he has his own YouTube channel. I'll put an annotation to his channel right here on the top right. He makes dance videos and they're actually pretty neat. I'd appreciate it if you could all show him some love. Also look forward to some series that are coming back. I'd also really appreciate it if you guys checked out SGK Cubers' The 12 Days of Cube Miss, which is a song he wrote and it is actually really great. I'll have a link to that on the top right right now and also in the description along with my Kindergarten Buddies YouTube channel. So, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's letters are M-I-N. I hope you all enjoyed. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.